Hey there, Ginger with you. Good afternoon. For some of you on the mountain west coast, I guess it's still a little bit of morning. Mountain, it's afternoon. It's, it's afternoon. But you west coasters, it's it's still morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon. Maybe even it's good evening, wherever you are. Um, Ginger Bratzel with you. And um, today, I you know, woke up, um, we planned our content for this week. And um, here in the U.S., in the middle part of the U.S., um, if you'll allow me to share a little bit of the story, it's kind of crazy um, because of the weather. And normally we don't talk about the weather. Um, we don't um, hit it up right now um, just because we're talking about other stuff. But it, it, there's a lot of stuff going on with the weather, <laughs> and it's kind of uh, messing with people's mojos and businesses like that. And I, I've seen energy come down. I've talked to a couple clients this week, you know, just even what we're going through personally, and it's been heck. So, you know, the winter storm has come through uh, the central part of the United States. We've got a lot of power outages. They were doing really blackout. So I hope we don't lose power. Um, last Before I started this, we were in, I think, uh, grid one. If it gets to grid three, they start rolling blackouts or level three. Um, and so, um, you know, it, it's hard to run a business. It's hard to live. It's hard to do all these things. Um, it's, it's not a lot of fun to do that. And if you're trying to do all that stuff and you got all this stuff when heck happens, you know, what do you do? So even in times, and that's why I wanted to spend some time focusing on, even on times where things are out of control, you can be in control. It's just, what do you focus your energy on? And it takes a lot of energy to do that. So, you know, as I'm seeing people come in in the comments, Hey, just say, hi, I see you guys. So we're streaming in a couple different places on my personal page and we're on, um, our uh, business development page on Facebook. Uh, I see some people coming in here from YouTube and they'll, they'll be chatting. So just, Hey, check in, say hi. We appreciate you, you being here. Um, so as we're, we're spending some time on what we can take um, charge of. So if you haven't heard my story before, let me just go back and, and rehash on that because it's, it growth is about getting control where you think you don't have control. So for me, when I bought a, an existing dental practice after I graduated dental school, I went into a practice that I knew was in bad shape. And so some of you can relate, you've been into a business that you knew was not that great or an area that's not that great. And you really wanted to make a difference. And so for me, I wanted to be there to do it for the people. So everything I was doing was coming back to heart. I wanted to do it for my community. Um, I wanted to do it for my family as people I've been with just salt of the earth people and they deserve that. So when I came back and I bought this failing practice, I knew it was a failing practice. It was not a surprise to me, but my take on it, which was wrong, <laughs> is that um, just shiny little old me being in there would make the difference. And that that's not what happened. Um, you know, came in there and the same problems persisted. And, and so when I talked to others in the industry, that's another a hint to, to pay attention to when I talk to others in the industry, they say, Hey, Ginger, you got to pay your dues. It'll, it'll come up. You just, you just pay your dues. And I don't mind paying my dues. In fact, I love working hard. Um, Ginger, you need to buy more equipment. Uh, Ginger, you need to take more training, get more initials after your name. Uh, you know what, Ginger, you probably need to build a brand new building and, uh, and make this Taj Mahal. And then they'll just come to you. You build it and they will come. And in reality, nothing happened except my overhead went up and up and up. And my income was about the same. So actually I was taking home even less. And I got sick and tired of that. I mean, I really got sick and tired of that. And I was paying my dues. And they told me I had to pay so many years, five, 10 years, excuse me, five to seven years. And when, when that time was up, I'm like, no, you told what you were telling me wasn't right. And I need to look on somebody I could depend. And that was me. And so I started looking at business very, very differently. So not looking at it from my skill level, as far as, um, my craft. So if you are a healthcare provider, you know, it's, it's your degree. If you are a financial planner, it's, it's the, all the curriculum that you've got back behind it. If you're a realtor, it's all the, the real estate courses you take. If you're a, a salon, you go through, you know, those courses, all of that's important to deliver services. But at a certain point, you know what you're doing to a, a pretty fair degree. And if you take one more course, it's not going to make a difference. You buy one course, more piece of equipment. So I'm like, I've got to run this business like a business. And that's what it is. It's a dental practice, but it's a business. And so when I started looking at it and really seeing what my customers want, my clients, my, my um, patients, what they wanted um, and how they wanted to get it, and even how I talked to my existing clients, that's when things changed. And so I started shifting 
to make it more attractive for them. Um, I talked to them about things they wanted to talk about. Um, I, I addressed it. I used their words. I stopped being so doctory and, and talked to and the, what's really important to them and making this work in their life because they wanted it, but they just couldn't figure out how to do it. So I had to overcome those things. And once I started doing that, things took off really, really quick. And I didn't, I knew it was going great. I was pretty happy with not having frustrated um, situation anymore, but I didn't realize how impactful it was until I got what I call the call, the call from my accountant. And it was a day I was working in one of my um, treatment rooms. I was working with a patient and my um, patients on this side and my uh, office manager came in on this ear and whispered in my ear, said, your accountant's on the phone and needs to talk to you right away. And he didn't call unless there's a problem. So I excused myself, told my assistant what I needed her to do as I walked out of the room and I walked uh, into my office, picked up the phone and I said, hey, hi, what's going on? And he said, well, Ginger, he, he was really blunt about it. He said, we got a problem. And I said, okay, tell me what it is. I'm thinking IRS and thinking legal. I'm thinking what's going on. And he said, no, I've got a problem. I'm in your QuickBooks and there's too much money. And I was like, oh, I said, that's not a problem. He said, well, I, I'm looking at it. And I've gone back. It's not just like one day got misentered or, you know, an extra digit put on it, it. This is cumulative. There's a lot more money in there and it's every day. And I don't know where to fix it. I don't, I know how much you should be doing and how much you've done in the past years. Um, but this is just too much. So we got to figure out what's going on. Someone's been misentering QuickBooks. I'm like, no, there's nothing wrong there. We are doing better. And he said, what do you mean by that? And I explained to them what we were doing as far as the shift, the transition. And so where we were struggling and getting nowhere, where my return on investment wasn't happening. I was getting return on investment uh, where I wasn't able to convert people, patients and customers were saying yes, the things that they wouldn't say yes to before. And he got quiet for a second and he said, okay, is this something unique to your area? Is there something new that came into town? Is a special uh, service you're doing? Is there a special uh, reimbursement service? Is there a new employer that came in? You know, did people win the lotto and all of a sudden they have this money? And I'm like, no, it's not, there's nothing special. And he said, well, do you think it'll work somewhere else? And I said, well, yeah, uh, why wouldn't it? He says, okay, great. Because I have three other dentists I need to call in just a moment and they're not doing so good in their business. And I've had them for a long time clients. Could you explain and help them do what you did in your business? And I said, sure. And so, um, you know, that was my first three private clients. And from there, I just showed them the systems I was using and they got to do the practice. They got to run their business the way they did. It's not like I said, hey, you got to stop doing your thing and you got to copy me. I just showed them the framework that I was running everything through. And so, um, you know, they got results and then someone across country got results and someone with multiple uh, businesses, they got results and more and more people kept uh, asking for help. And so that's what I do exclusively now and share that. And so I was in a bad predicament, but I planted some seeds in my along the way when I figured out what I needed to do, be doing to make it happen. And so now we're in this little, you know, that was a big scan when things go to H-E double hockey sticks, but we're in a little microcosm Cosmo. So is it COVID? Is the economy? Is it the, it's the dang bad weather? You know, we're talking about what things you can be working on and put your energy towards right now where you take the focus off of what you can't control and put it on what you could control. That's what I, I, I couldn't change people's behaviors and thoughts, but I could talk to them a different way. That was mine on me. I can change my words and my conversation to do that. I can offer services in a different way. I could structure my business a different way. Um, we could present um, options for them in a different way. That was under my control. And so, you know, as we're talking about this thing that's going on right now, what can we do under control? And so um, <clears throat> you can read, read, redirect your focus. You can be concentrated on things like that. So I, I went through and I made five things just looking at um, what we talk about with clients, um, things to just really refocus and making things happen. And the five ways that you can you can work on it for your 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 if you're a healthcare provider, if you're a service-based business, what is under your control? You know, and you are. That's that's the biggest thing right here. You are under control. So what, what can you do? And so, um, I mean, I think the first thing is really important um, in making all this happen is one, you are part of a community. You are a service based business. You're a healthcare provider in an area. You serve people. You are not a, a national online faceless company. You know, people you're going to run into people 
at the grocery store. You're going to see people at the golf course. You're going to see people at church. You're going to see people out in the community. These are your people. They're not your patients. You're not the clients. You're not your customers. You are a member community with them. And so the first thing you can do is reach out and help people in your community. So when you fill out of control, get control by helping others. It changes your energy. It will plant the seeds now that you're going to harvest later. It's karma. Okay. And making it happen. Um, you um, might recall a story back, back when uh, COVID all hit and the hurricanes were all hit, hit about, I think it's in Houston. They call him Matt, Mattress Max. And he was a, uh, he is a uh, furniture owner, furniture store. Now, so he's selling a good, but he's a member of the community. And he said, my job here is to take care of my community first. And so, you know, I can't sell stuff right now. I'm going to let people uh, come here and eat. I'm going to let people that don't have a home um, sleep here. Um, he just put people above everything else. Instead of panicking about how his income was down, he's like, what can I do in my community right now? And planted those seeds. And he did very, very, very well in making that happen. So in our community, you know, Right now we're in the storms. Um, back in my dental practice, I remember we had a hail storm that came through one year. I mean, it is flattened the town. It just flattened it, broke every window out of everything. Roofs were destroyed, and and people just freaked out. They wanted to do anything. So my job was to be there for them. Um, I can donate to charities. We could do food drives. Um, you know, but I put out a message. This is before social media, but I put it out in the mail, a postcard. It's like, first of all, I know people are hurting. If you've got somebody who's in need and has no money and needs services, let me know. We're going to take care of them because that's what we do. Um, and then I, I gave them an opportunity. I said, if there's stuff that you wanted to get done, we're going to get things going. We made promotions to do that. So we put it out there. Social media, you can do this in an instance. You know, I had to wait till things get printed, send out in the mail and wait for them to open it. You can put it out on social media right now. You can talk to people in, in your community and say, hey, I'm here to help you. That's helping others. But as easy as, you know, volunteering at a shelter, um, canned food drive, asking your customers to pitch in. Little makes big differences and it changes your mojo. You're planting that seed and making it for it. Um, you can offer, like I said, your direct services. If you can do something like the, like the, max, the mattress guy that they can use, do that. You know, I could help people in my community had a dental emergency during that. I could do that. I was there to do that. And it kept me busy, kept my mind going. Use your energy towards those kind of things. Um, number two, I think a really important thing, if, um, if you're in the business of offering services that people can benefit right now when things are not good. So, you know, if I got to bust a water line, I better be hearing from my plumber right now. You should be proactively reaching out to me. Um, just in case I didn't know. Um, my electrician. Uh, if you are in those service base, if I got a water pipe, and you have a service-based business where you have a carpet cleaning, I want, I want to hear from you. I need that water sucked up. Um, let me know you're out there. Don't wait for me to um, come find you. Let me know those available because I will forget. In chaos, people forget that. So if you have services that directly relate to, hey, I can solve that, or maybe it's a service they don't know you, you offer. Um, if you are uh, heating and air conditioning, you know, maybe they don't know you have 24-hour call. You need to let people know that. And again, you can use your social media. You can talk to them. First of all, say, hey, I'm worried about everybody. Um, I want to be out there for you. Uh, let me know what I can do for you. If you got a dental emergency, let me know. My chiropractor sent me a message. He's like, hey, I, I'm bored. Uh, um, I have electricity at the office. A lot of you are shov shoveling snow. I'm in the office today. Normally, I'm not. I'm in the office today. Give me a call if you want to come in. Please let just let them know that you have those available and, and to get that out there. So what can you offer? And if you're in that industry that they can benefit right now, but if you don't tell them, they're not going to remember. Um, number three, I think a, a really valuable thing is, is reach out to people. We have these things called telephones. Did you know this? My camera just blurred. We have uh, uh, telephones. You can call people. You can text them, not to text to sell them, but to reach out to somebody. So if somebody's in the middle of treatment and they had to cancel appointment, how are you doing? Split it up between the team members. Everyone pick up a phone and say, I want to know how you're doing. Are you guys okay? Are you staying warm? Do you have power? And then listen. And if there's something you can do to help them out, you help them out. You're planting seeds now to harvest later. It's part of that karma. 
be proactive in reaching out to help the people. Um, it's really appreciative. And, you know, I've already told 10 people about my chiropractor who's a client too. So he paid attention to me. I can tell you to do this, but you don't necessarily do it. So he listened to me um, when I did it and he actually reached out. And then he reached out to me to prove that he did that. So I, um, that is your opportunity. You are part of the community. Make sure you're connecting with others to do that. Number four, I think a, a valuable thing when things are um, feel out of control and things are um not busy or you can't get into the office or anything like that is to learn. It's the time to work on your business. And there is there programs that you're supposed to implement, but you've been too busy. What about um, changing um, things that you're supposed to do? You know, I have this huge learning library for you guys. So we put out every week. This will be part of it. This video, this huge learning library. We've got hundreds of strategies and tips that you might not have been paying attention to, or they didn't apply to you at that time. It's like, you know what? I want to spend some more time on our social media. Now I have time to learn that, or I want to work on our website or I want to work on SEO or what did ginger tell us talk about when you present uh, options to people? She's talked about that in the past. What options are there? So we have a huge on YouTube, Facebook, we have all kinds of resources, but uh, YouTube's probably the best place under, um, excuse me. I got in the wrong place. Let me give you this one. That's the one you need, the learning library. So if you go to gingerbrowsel.com slash YouTube, I just made a quick link for you. Uh, that's a whole library. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of strategies and lessons in there that we've been sharing for years. So this is your time to go back and learn all those things. This is the time to make, take action and do it. This time to invest on it. If you've got, um, you know, it's like, I don't want to bring the employees in or I only have a few of them in. This is the time to retrain on things. Um, COVID people have kind of got slacked off. Customer care is not quite what we used to be. Um, scripts have got uh, dropped. Systems have gotten dropped. And we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants. Not anymore. It's time to retrain. And that's um, role playing is really valuable. I had one employee tell me one time who didn't last very long. I will say this one staff member. Um, she said, I don't need to practice it. I'll just remember when the time comes. It's got to roll off your tongue. You've got to practice it. You got to do it. You got to re-educate it. Um, you know, you might think you have it here, but it doesn't want to work here out of, out of your mouth. So this is a time to retrain people and go through resources. So we have a lot of scripts in there. We have a lot of trainings in there, a big picture thinking um, and, and things to make a hit of there. And so that's available to you. That's a resource that we put out every week. We send to you. If you're on our list, we put on our Facebook page. Um, that library is, is time to go back and search on it. So you have that availability to do it is to spend some time on learning on uh, number four. And then the last one I think is really valuable um, since we're talking about shifting things and we're talking about planting seeds and we want to harvest them later. It's, it's time to kind of look at evaluating um, your business and, and seeing uh, what you want to do maybe a little differently um, or what opportunities you didn't know you had available. So if, if you want to do that, um, I'm going to make available to you. This is what you really, I shouldn't say I'm not going to make available to you. It's there. It, it's okay. I want you to take action. I'm telling you what to do. I'm not, eh, I want you to do this. I want you to do it. I want you to go over to connectwithginger.com and sign up for a strategy call session. And let's talk about your business. Let's talk about, this is time to reflect on where you are. Um, this is what got you here, but what's going to get you through this and on the other side, you know, we got pre COVID, we got post COVID and we're going to have the new norm, which is, it's going to be very, very different. And so, you know, businesses need to shift. Um, you need to think about things differently. We're talking about marketing. We're talking about management, but also how we're thinking about the situation. The problem's not the problem is how you're thinking about the problem to quote Jack Sparrow. Um, go and do that. Go do that. We really appreciate that. And um, you're going to get a lot out of that. And making that happen. Um, hey, Gwen. Gwen is an artist. I'm going to call Gwen out. Gwen is a dear friend of mine. Um, she she's a master artist, and, and I'm a, Gwen is an artist. And she said this is really valuable um, for artists too. And yeah, Gwen. And I hope you're staying warm up in there in Taos. Gwen's um, a great artist out of Taos. Um, and this is just rethinking about our situation. This is just rethinking and making things uh, a little differently. So take the time to plant your seeds now to harvest later. 
that's the problem. Plants are not instantaneous, uh, and neither are big dreams or results. So if you're looking for a quick overnight fix, there's no such thing. There's no such thing in making that happen. Um, so go over there, connect with ginger.com, reach out to me. Let's do a strategy session. No application. It's a free thing. Um, well, we can point out some areas. If, if I have something that I'm going to, that can help you, you know, instead of sending you off and tell you to learn this on your own and spend hours and hours on it. If there's one thing you need to be doing or two things to get you to the next level, why not do those? Why not do those? So dig in, um, do that. So, you know, that is my mission for you today. As I sat there, I'm like, it's time to stop wallowing in it and make things happen. So reach out there, uh, connect with me. I've, um, I, I'm there to help you make your goals come true. So that's what I want for you. Cause I do not want you to go through what I did. I don't want you to struggle if you get stuck along the way, which we all do. Um, it's about getting through and making that happen, um, sooner. So that's what I want you to do as it's time to get out there and connect, uh, make it happen. Um, and, uh, really have fun with this. Cause that's, that's the cool part about life. That's, uh, that's a really, really cool part about life. And I, um, I think it's fantastic. And I want to give you that opportunity to do that. So stay warm. Um, we just had our third snowstorm. I think we're something like 12 inches, 14 inches. I'm tired of shoveling. Um, tractor's been here four times. And um, we actually can see the sun today. So it's, it's coming, but we're not going to lose this opportunity. This is a reflex. So until next time, this is Ginger signing off, and I will connect with a lot of you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.